Fix and the corresponding nfix command are excellent ways to focus a calculation so you're not doing things against too many blocks or against too many portions of the database at once. The fix command is called a sandwich command. Think of fix as the top layer of bread, then you have a bunch of functions or filling in the middle, and then nfix is the bottom layer of bread. So everything between the fix and the nfix is operated on together, kind of essentially as one sandwich. Every fix has to have an end fix, otherwise all the stuff in the middle would just fall out the bottom of your sandwich. So make sure that if you have a fix, it has a corresponding end fix. You don't need to put a semicolon after the fix or the end fix statements, but when in doubt, semicolons for everybody. Feel free to put them in. And just remember that everything between the fix and the end fix operates together as one block. You can't assume that stuff between the fix and the end fix happens in a certain order. Fix works by limiting the members that are pulled into memory. When sbase encounters a fixed statement, it'll look for the sparse combinations of members in that fix. It'll go out to the index and say, I don't care about any of the other slices or blocks in the database. I only want you to send me these fixed combinations. It pulls those blocks into memory, simply skips all the other blocks that are out there, and just calculates the stuff between fix and end fix on that set of blocks. Some of the ways you can use it are to calculate a specific scenario, such as fixing on budget or forecast. Maybe you just want to calculate a specific year or a specific month in the year. Maybe you could do just your cost center, or just ancestors of your cost center. All those can be done with a fixed statement. Inside of your fixed statement, you can fix on a specific member of a dimension or multiple members from that dimension. You can list a member name, you could list an alias, you could list member set functions if you wanted to, like at ancestors or at UDA. You can use and and or, but they might not work the way you think. If you have two functions, maybe at descendants of West and at UDA, where it means a certain UDA like major market, and will give you the intersection of those two functions. If you said at descendants of West or at UDA, it's going to give you the union of those two. So basically all the things that meet the first condition or meet the second condition. It's roughly the same as if you separated the members with a comma. Be very careful. If you do an and and it results in an empty set, it will actually operate on that entire dimension. So if you said fix where I had descendants of West and where it was a UDA of small markets and there were no small markets in the West, it ignores that entire portion of the fix. So it'll operate on the whole dimension. There's a set command you can use if you want it to just skip the fix in the case where it results in an empty set. So let's say we wanted to fix on a specific member. In our case, we're gonna fix on the Western region, and then we're gonna calculate two accounts, op, income, and margin. So it's not gonna bother pulling into memory any of the other regions that are out there, or actually anything beneath the West region. It's just gonna fix on the specific member West region. If I specify multiple dimensions in the fix, it's gonna do the intersection of those dimensions. You might look at that fix down below and think, oh, it's gonna do west and south regardless of all the scenarios, and then it's gonna do actual regardless of the region. But no, it's gonna say where it's equal to west or it's equal to south and it's equal to actual. So west and south for the actual scenario, it's gonna calculate op income and margin. Using a member set function inside of a fix is extremely powerful. So in my case, I don't want to do the West region member itself. I want to do every member in the West region. So I'll just say fix on at descendants of West region comma actual, and it's going to do the intersection of all the things in West where we're on the actual slice of data. Now you can nest fix statements. Nesting just means that you're putting a fix inside of a fix. So in my case, I'm saying fix on east and west. So it's going to ignore all the other slices of the database except the members east and west. Within that, I'm going to fix on the actual kind of sub-slice of those regions. I'm going to calculate op income. Then I'm going to fix on budget and calculate the margin member. So notice each fix has a corresponding end fix. You don't have to indent it. Most people do, though, just for ease of readability. 
Now, while most of my examples have been fixing on sparse members, you can fix on members from dense dimensions. It actually works quite well. Even though it pulls the whole block in, including the entire set of dense members, it only operates within the fix and the end fix on the dense members that you specify. But be really careful. If you fix on one dense member, and then a little bit later fix on a different dense member, this will actually result in two passes through the database. So if in my example here, I wanted both revenue and marketing to go up 10% from actual to budget, that's just fine. I would just say fix on revenue comma marketing, budget equals actual times 1.1. But in my example, I want revenue to go up by 10% and I want marketing to go up by 30% because revenue and marketing both come from the measures dimension. That's a dense dimension. This actually results in two passes through the database. In this case, a better way to do it would be using the if function. Now there are some things that you can't do with a fix. You can't fix on a member and then do something to that member within the fix. So you're probably not likely to write what you see here, fix on sales, sales equals 100. In that case, I actually don't need the fix. I could just say sales equals 100. But you might think, well, I'm gonna fix on descendants of West and then down below say California equals this, Oregon equals this, you can't do that. If you're fixing on a dimension, you can't then specify that dimension on the left side of an equal down below within the fix. It's gonna just air out.